it's time! Hey guys, uh, something I wanted to talk about today because just like now after maybe so many years of training, like maybe about a decade of training, I'm finally starting to get a good idea of what is, what is complete performance and, and what actually is not also as well. So this has taken, you know, so many years and in the start, I did not think about it, like, I, it wasn't in my mind, well, I, I want to reach this complete performance. It didn't resonate with me really at all in, the, in those terms. It sounded so official, it's like something that your teacher would say to your teacher in a class, you know. I'm not kind of a teacher myself, so I can use it, but back in those days, it was more or less... You may have heard me talk about, for example, Jackie Chan. And I think he was uh, sort of, rep he represented me this complete performance, a complete physique, back in those days without really me thinking about it that way. And <clears throat> like, if I now look at it, I can see that what I, that, that what I saw in Jackie Chan was this sort of, uh, his ability to move in almost any situation, his ability to thrive and adapt to these so many different mm, situations where he needed to move his body. There was freedom in his movement movement as well. He had like endurance, he was able to do stunts, he was able to do so many things. And also he has a very lean ripped body that I kind of admired. There was nothing uh, extra in it. It wasn't like in a weird way bulky or buff. I really liked that back in those days. So this was kind of my first thing that, that, that was kind of guiding me towards a direction. And <clears throat> I think I mean, now that I think of it, it's no wonder, it's actually no like accident that our first program is the Movement 20XX, which is kind of playful movement. Another way that it also represented to me in the start was just the remo removing weakness from my body and getting rid of pain. <clears throat> because obviously, if you think like what actually allows you to become, you know, to have a complete performance, it is actually the, the lack of weakness in the body. And indeed, over the years, I came to realize that this it really is more about lack of weakness as a whole than it is about peak strength in one area. And this sort of, because the lack of weakness together, what, what does it consist of first of all? Is basically you have a strong mobility everywhere in the body. You have good articular awareness, which is a kind of funny term, but it's more related to the, kind of the consciousness of the training. Like in the Athlete Twin XX, I started to think like it really builds a new consciousness of training into you. And this is like, it's not an exaggeration. This is what it is. This is the, the awareness that also allows, uh, allows you to try. And then the, the thing that now is more and more that I've been focusing on is the stress resilience and endurance. <clears throat> so these, these together create adaptability and well-roundness. So in order for you to adapt to these many different physical situations, you need to have that mobility and you need to have certain awareness of the body, uh, of the different articulations and the relationship between the moving parts of your body. And then you need to have be resilient to stress and you need to have some endurance as well. These create the sort of athletic adaptability uh, of a complete physique. So it's functional, it's well-rounded, it can thrive in sort of any situation you put it in. So this is more or less what it has been about all these years. It's not, like I said, it's, it hasn't always been like picture clear that this is, this is what it is. But sort of more intuitively or unconsciously, I've always, we've always tried to get to this, or find a way to develop the most well-rounded physique, always trying to find the methods that lead to this, that lead to this point. And you know, nowadays like our core values are the health, their posture and the performance. And I always think, you know, this health is this, it's basically a number one thing. And it's very interesting because it's kind of like by a good chance almost. Uh, I started the Monkey Kung Fu here in Finland as well. And the grandmaster of the, the Malaysian cool school, uh, his, or he's the grandmaster of our school in Finland as well, he came visit here from Malaysia. And we talk, or I talked to him and he talked to us. And he started to talk about this health and martial arts. And it's kind of made clear that there really is no martial art without health. And he took an example of this, many of these uh, Thai boxers or Muay Thai fighters. Because he worked, worked with them. He's fought in Muay Thai as well. And how many of these fighters, you know, they, they need to end their career very early. Because 
to just to become kind of like old men. They're so broken in the body. And so it's like you can have this, this fighting ability and all this, your martial art, but if you don't have a health, you really don't have anything. Like, show, show me your martial art. Show me how healthy you are. That, that is the basic point which starts all performance. But as much as it is about, you know, eliminating and destroying weaknesses and pains from your body, this is really isn't the only thing. It's also about exploration. And I think it's about really, it's about challenging yourself, putting yourself out there, testing. It really is, this is like testing, sort of testing yourself, testing your performance. And I tested myself during the years of like traveling all the world, learning these training methods, you know, improving my craft. And I tested myself, for example, with dance, with martial arts. And recently I tested myself with the MMA, which probably has been the, you know, easily the toughest test of my performance to date. The MMA showed, you know, it showed a lot of good things about my physique, a lot of things, you know, that I had done, like building up the foundation, but it also brought up weaknesses, like I've been talking about, for example, this endurance and the stress re resilience that are now, you know, a big focus in my training. But my focus, like on endurance, already started uh, earlier, or those endurance and the martial arts performance. In Australia, we're already kind of studying and, and developed these conditioning workouts. I went to seminars of the Michael J. White, George St. Pierre. I studied training of the top UFC fighters. So I was searching these things. Uh, I was kind of getting mentally also preparing myself and reading these samurai books and stuff like that. And when we left Australia, we went to Taiwan to see the Jiang Yushan, who's a Taiwan's monkey kung fu master. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos, those vlogs, I highly recommend it. It was just such a crazy adventure. But all of these, basically, like learning from these different co teachers, coaches there, explore, exploring myself, it led to creating the workout structure that you can see in the Warrior 20XX now. And actually, one of the things as well, while we left the time, when we also went to Germany to Steve Maxwell's seminar, which is basically about performance for martial artists. And this actually taught us something very important, taught us a lot about breathing techniques, which we had also learned from basically yoga, pilates, and also in the Qigong training uh, with the Jiang Yushan. And now with Steve Maxwell, it really came like a, uh, really vividly, this, the importance, how controlling breathing also is such an important thing in having a body that can adapt to this stressful situation. It allows so much in performance. This is why we also put all that into Warrior Train XX as well. But we really wanted to know what, like, what, is, what makes you a real killer as an athlete, as a, as a mover, as an artist, or as a competitor. And especially one thing that's really important, like what is actually that gives you the best benefits just in your everyday life, so you can live your life basically to its fullest potential. And this is... This has come out in many, many ways that the proper training that you do is not only that it helps you in these performance situations, it actually makes your everyday, everyday life better and easier in every, almost every single way. It makes you more energetic, there's less pain, all the different actions that you do, that you need to do maybe throughout the day become easier, you know, or walking, you know, step of stairs or whatever it is, carrying your child or something, all these becomes much more doable and better. And proper training truly prevents these injuries. It prevents pain because there's, there's so many, you know, because one thing that I'd like, you know, maybe like to mention here is that, you know, like I'm not trying to really get through this life without getting any hits or taking any damage. Like, like I said, I'm doing MMA. You can maybe see the, the black, uh, black eye as well. Like it's the sport, you know, it, it's not the healthiest thing you can do for your body, you know. Uh, it's pretty rough, but there's still so much unnecessary damage that people cause to themselves with their training, with their just normal training, which is supposed to do the exact opposite. You know, a proper training, like I said, it prevents these injuries, it prevents pain, but it also actually it can even fix it in the end as well. So the long-term approach has to always be there kind of uh, on the base of it, on the, in, as a foundation. So our training programs, like I mentioned, you know, they reflect everything that we have, you know, learned on these travels. Because you, you can't put into one program everything there is. That's almost impossible. Or maybe at some point, you know, some huge, massive thing. But 
you know, because the start, the starting point, as I said, it is something playful. You're kind of imitating. You're just doing it. You know, you're enjoying. It. It's fun. This is kind of the a very great starting point. Ch children, when they're playing or doing some sport, they're already developing a lot of athletic abilities without too much thinking or you know consciousness. This is the you know kind of it's I don't know how would I say it's 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 playful training, but it gives you very serious results already. I guess that's a great way to put it. And so when you go here, you know, and as I mentioned about this sort of consciousness, like Athlete 20XX, you're building a different type of foundation to your body. Like Movement 20X and Athlete 20X, those are foundational programs. But Athlete 20XX, I call it super foundational because we go so, so deep into the technique and so deep into the sort of the mental approach, the mind-muscle connection. And then Warrior 20X is sort of this, it's the final, it's kind of the addition on top of that foundation. Because if you really want to complete uh, performance, there needs to be that endurance and ability to withstand stress and really push it and know, what it, know how to create intensity in your training. But as like, if you were like zero background in training, I would not probably start with it. I would focus first on a little more calmer training that's not so aggressive and to kind of know, understand a little more about training and what you're actually doing. But this is, this really, this has been the kind of the culmination, as I said, about understanding what it is, what creates this complete physique. And one of the biggest things also realizing has been that it's not the highlights. It isn't the big, huge stunts that you mostly see. And what actually most people, especially beginner trainers, they see something really cool. They immediately think that this is, this is it. This is what creates the foundation, no, but really isn't. Because if you don't have a healthy body and if you're really lacking this, this basic stuff that I've been talking about, like it is to having the mobility everywhere, you're having your endurance and having this, this awareness of your physique, then if, you, if we take you away from those, those, those kind of narrow limits that you have a good performance, then you kind of become a little bit helpless. So it's always that well-roundness what we're kind of looking after. And this is what I want everything to kind of represent on this channel, you know, because some people, for example, that, that this endurance thing is not your style or something like that, but that's really not the case. Not the case if you look at the bigger picture. It br pretty much fits everything, everything that we teach here. It's just part of having that complete performance. So this is all I really want to make this video because it's it's such it's been really taking such a long time to to really understand this and to kind of come together with these ideas and and what really makes this complete physique that is all i will see you guys in the next video stay strong <laughs>